Hey everybody, Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping coming back at you with another episode of Know the Animals We Trap. This episode is on the gray fox. Let's get started. The gray fox. This species inhabits the open forests and brush country across the southern United States, northward in the west to the state of Washington and northern Colorado and to the southern Canada and eastern and central North America. Here we go. Pronunciation. Not my strong suit, you guys. Can go and figure it out on your own. Eurasian Litoralis. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I love the Bible of the Outdoors. It's catching me up. Eurasian Litoralis, a second species, is found on a couple of the Channel Islands off the coast of Southern California. Identification. The top of the animal's head and back is a salt and pepper gray, but the flanks and ears and the area just below them are a rust red color. Belly, chest, throat, and inner sides of the legs are whitish. The 12 to 15 inch tail is gray with a prominent black mane running to the back tip. A four and a half inch musk gland is visible on the top of the tail. There's some information I didn't know, and I'll bet some of you don't either. So let me go back over that again. A four and a half inch musk gland is visible on the top of the tail. Now, one would have to assume that if you are able to attain gray fox, that musk gland might be and very possibly could be of some benefit in your trapping. If you can retain that musk gland, one would have to assume that that would alert other gray fox as to a gray fox in the area and maybe a sort of curiosity attractant. Something for you guys to consider and further investigate and see if, honestly, it would benefit you on your trap line. Could also pay mind to the fur market if you take that portion of tail, will they dock you at auction for that missing out of that tail? Something else to look into, guys. But, that being said, a four and a half inch musk gland is visible on the top of the tail. Size. A typical adult stands 15 inches high at the shoulder is up to 45 inches from the nose to the tip of the tail. The scales and scales between 8 and 11 pounds. Here we go. Here's the record book. 1976. Record at that point. The heaviest recorded gray fox weighed 19 pounds there you have it don't fact check me fact check the complete outdoors encyclopedia this is factual 1976 food here we go guys get out your piece of paper and your pencil start jotting this down ready 
Brave foxes prey heavily upon rabbits and ruffed grouse. And depending upon the abundance of prey animals, fish, snakes, rats, mice, and insects. Dead and crippled animals are easy game for the wary gray fox. So there you go. There you have it. There is the information on the gray fox. I hope everybody's learned something. All credit is due. Copyright 1976, The Complete Outdoors Encyclopedia. Stay tuned. Many more species to come in video series. Know the animals in which we trap. I'm Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping. And I'll be back with you very soon with another episode. Thanks, everybody.